Hi everyone and welcome to Crawley College's Open Event. My name is Rachel King, I'm the School Liaison Officer here and I'm going to be interviewing some of our Crawley College students and asking them questions that you might want to know. So I hope that you find this session useful today. Um, if you find that you have any questions throughout, we will have a contact email address at the end of this video. Okay, so let's introduce our first student. Hi Daisy, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. So would you mind thank introducing you. yourself, please? So I'm Daisy and I'm doing cabin crew and I started at the beginning of the year and I'm loving it so far. Amazing. Um, so the first question I've got for you today is why did you choose to come to Crawley College? Why well, I chose to come to Crawley College because of the amount of practical they have in like the amount there is because yeah. I started at a different college and it was mostly theory based and that's just not me. I'm just more of a hands on person. So I looked at all the different courses they have and thought I'm going to be best suited for me and what I want to do. Yeah, that's amazing. That's great. Well, I'm really glad that you found out that obviously our college does a lot of practical courses and this is the right one for you. So that's fantastic. Um, the next question I have for you is, can you just tell me a little bit about your course and, and what you get up to, you know, with your practical and your theory? Yes, so with the practical, we do a lot of emergency drills of like what you would actually happen when you're on the aircraft and like we reenact them out. So it's given us an idea of what it's going to actually be like during the training when we do become cabin crew. And then we do the theory side of like the nitty gritty learning, all the details and everything. And it just gives us a bit of a head start for the interview. Yeah, yeah, that sounds fantastic. It sounds actually really interesting. And the practical side sounds really kind of informative as well, doesn't it? Yeah, that's amazing. It's good. Um, the next question I have that I feel like some students might want to know is did you have to prepare anything for your course beforehand? Um, you know, things such as like getting uniform together. Uh, for this course, when we turned up, we didn't really have to turn up with anything. But when we was there, we got told what we need exactly, which mm -hmm. was good as it was a lot more informative and they gave us ideas of what we can get. And it's basically the uniform is a white shirt and like a skirt or trousers. And then, yeah. But we only wear that on certain days of when we're doing practicals and stuff. Yeah, oh, that sounds great. So I think that's quite good for students to know that depending on what course you do, you may have to wear a uniform or you may have to prepare different things. But yeah. either way, you'll, you'll get told beforehand before you need it, what you need to get. Yeah, that's great. Perfect. Um, the next question I have is what are the teachers like at the college? They're all lovely, all the ones I've met so far, and they'll stop and have a nice chat with you. Yeah. And it's less you have to do this, you have to do that. And it's more they treat you like an adult yeah. and like you're a human and not a robot. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's great. I think it's really nice to know that, you know, there's that mutual respect and you do get treated as an adult. Yeah. You know, you're the person that's you've made the decision to come to this college and, and we want you to be there. And. I think that's that's a really nice point as well, is that you can stop in the corridors and, and have a nice chat because you do yeah. build that quite nice friendship with them, don't you? Yeah, exactly. That's amazing. That's great. Thank you very much. Um, so the last question I actually have for you is what advice would you give to a student who is applying to Crawley College? I would say just be yourself, just turn up when you need to turn up and don't don't stress yourself out over it, really. because It's all going to work out in the end. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Oh, thank you so much, Daisy. It's been great having you. No on worries. Store. Thank you very much. Thanks. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Saul. How are you doing? All right. Thank you. Yourself? Yeah, good. Thank you. So would you mind just introdu introducing yourself for us? Hi, my name's Saul and I'm currently at Crawley College studying level two diploma in motor vehicle. Fantastic. So my first question for you today is if you think back to when you first started, and I know that you've been at the college for quite a few years, about six years, isn't it? Um, can you just tell us what is your biggest fear? I think the biggest fear was going because I went to a school and it was only like a few hundred students and in college we're talking 2000. So that's obviously the biggest fear. So obviously seeing people that you've not seen before and 
just having people in the corridor, like a lot more people in the corridors. And obviously, but it's a fear that you go there within a few days, you're your normal self, you meet new people, or you might have friends that you've already knew from school. So really, so really, it would be a case of just me and yeah, make good yeah. friends from Crawley College. Yeah, so I think the good, the good point to take from that is that if you don't know the people there or you don't have friends coming from your previous um, setting, like don't panic, it's actually quite easy to make friends there. No, no, don't panic. Like literally you'll be in a group and you'll make friends with your class, no bother. Amazing, thank you. Um, my next question for you is what is a typical day like for you at college? So mainly it's like three days a week. Um, so obviously do nine to five practical and obviously have 30 minute break in the morning, hour lunch and then a 15 minute break in the afternoon. And that's a practical day. Theory side, it's more of a case of um, go and do your theory work, English and maths, and obviously depend on your timetable to what your breaks and lunches will be because you can do a full day or a half day. OK, great. And is there anything like extra that you help out with at the moment or do you use any extra like breaks to go and use any of the computers or anything? Um, I currently go into um, ALS classrooms and Hush and SU, which is Hush is basically somewhere where you can, it's a quiet area where you can do your coursework outside of your lessons, yeah. homeworks and SU, um, SU, which is known as Student Union, is more for like Xboxes, Playstations, table tennis, uh, pool and a social area where you can hang out with your friends and stuff. Yeah, basically the place that every student wants to be. Yeah, that's great. Um, and just mentioning back, I know that last year you was part of the student executive, part of the student union. Can you just tell us a little bit about what you got up to in that? So student exec, which you'll be to be an exec, you have to be classed as a student rep first. So with a student rep, you'll go to three conferences a year and three area rep meetings. With an exec, it's completely different. And um, so you go to a, like a meet, you meet up with other execs once a week and you do stuff like you meet with like people across Chitster College Group which is Grinsby, Chitster, Worthing and Crawley and um, you do a lot of charity events so for example Comic Relief, Red Nose, they raise money for all them sort of charities and also just make the college a good place to be and um, good environment. That sounds great so it's really a a, a good part of the college to kind of be involved in. It's good to be involved with because you have more of a voice as a student and the staff there take all the students seriously. So it's really good in that sense. And being an exec, I didn't regret it and never will. And I'm glad I did it. That's amazing. Thank you so much for that. Um, another question we've got is, can you tell us a little bit about the student tutors at the college like how much support do they provide you with and what kind of support do they provide you with so basically with student tutors you if you're a student under the age of 19 you do one to ones i think it's once a term um and you do asos sessions which is lessons that um get you prepared for life so like money management skills and all that you can go to your student tutor if you have any concerns any worries any worries about your course, anything about your well-being, literally go to them for anything and they'll make time to talk, talk to you. That's fantastic. They really sound like your go-to person in the college. Um, yeah, 100%. That's great. Thank you. And my last question for you is what advice would you give to someone who's thinking about applying at Cordy College? Go for it. Go to go to Deeps in Life and Crawley College will get you there. Amazing. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Saul. All right. Cheers. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Hi, Michaela. Thank you for joining us in this session today. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Would you mind just introducing <coughs> for us? So, I'm Michaela. I'm 21 and I'm doing a welding and fabrication level three apprenticeship. Amazing. And just to point out that obviously you are at work at the moment. Um, yeah. So Apologies if there's any, you know, loud bangs going on or, or any noise in the background, but yeah. obviously, um, yeah, you're, you're at work. So, so that's, that's great. Thank you for joining us. 
So um, my first question for you is um, regarding your apprenticeship. So I was just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about it, like what do you get up to? So an apprenticeship is basically where you get to earn your qualification as well as working in a work site, which is quite good for me because I want to get my level three, but then I also want to experience the workplace as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think uh, an important point to make is OK, you're earning your qualification, you know, you're doing that theory work, you're getting that practical size. But the bonus of that apprenticeship is that you're earning a salary, like you're getting paid, aren't oh, you? Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely a little bonus there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, that might sway some people to kind of go down that apprenticeship route, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. You know, that's fantastic. Um, so I know that you were at Corny College before your apprenticeship and you were doing a vocational course. Can you just tell us a little bit about that? So like how, how did you get onto the course? So I didn't really know what I wanted to do after school. Went to Crawley College I an evening, wandered around and um, saw the engineering workshops and thought, oh, I'll give that a go. Because yeah. I prefer to be practical than sitting in an office. I, don't, I couldn't really do that as a job. So that's how it all started. I then did engineering level one full time, went on to do engineering level two, which is the welding and fabrication side and then started my apprenticeship so I've done the full time and then gone on to the apprenticeship as well. That's, do you know what, that's actually really amazing for students to know that you know you, you start, you came to that open evening, you saw the workshop, you loved it, you applied, you know you've done your level one, your level two and now you're doing your apprenticeship so I think that's fantastic progression you know that's really amazing to hear. Um, so my next question for you is um, how did you choose to progress onto that apprenticeship? Did you get any support within the college that kind of gave you some information on it? So after my level two, I didn't really know what I wanted to do after that. I didn't really want to do another full time one because I had a part time job at the time, but it was nothing to do with welding and fabrication. I wanted to go in for that. So Carol at Crawley College, yeah. she knew who I was and sort of pointed me in the right direction. The company I work at now actually put out an application for an apprentice and she said this would be perfect for you. So I applied and yeah, it all worked out good. <laughs> that sounds amazing. That's that's really nice to know that you were a little bit unsure of what to do, but the amazing people within Cordy College and the Progression Plus team were like, right, we know her, we know what would work really, really well from the Taylor. Let's see if we can sort out this apprenticeship. So yeah, that, definitely. <laughs> that's really fantastic. I'm so pleased for you. Um, my next question is, um, was it easy to apply? Like, how did you go about applying once they told you about it? Was it all online? So, yeah, everything was all online. So Crawley College website, you can apply for full time courses or anything like that. You can even apply for apprenticeships on there. It's literally a quick and easy form, your name, your the school that we went to and stuff like that. So easy to fill in and then obviously you get emails back saying if you've accepted and all of that. Yeah, yeah. OK, so, you know, that actually sounds like the application process is, you know, not actually that difficult to fill it to fill in, um, but it's more finding that apprenticeship. I mean, it sounds like you got quite lucky and you got really good support from the college to yeah. find it. It's almost like good timing, you know. But I think the main thing is, you know, that, that students need to be on the lookout for any vacancies that pop up, don't they? You can literally see it on your phone, just go on the website and look at apprenticeships and that's who's looking for one. You just look through them, it's simple and easy. Yeah, yeah, that's really good to know. That's great. Um, my next question for you is, what is a typical week like for you? So on a Monday I go to college, which is my full day, and I'm going at the moment, which is 9 till 4.45. Um, and then the rest of the week I'm at work, which is 6.30 till 3. But I do get my weekends off as well. Yeah, yeah, that, that's obviously a bonus. So it really is like a real job, you know, you're getting up early, starting at 6.30, but you do get that bonus of, of you know, leaving at half three. Yeah, yeah, you get paid for it as well. So it's like having a full time job, really. Yeah, so you, you really are learning and earning at the same time. You know, that's, that's really good to know that, you know, 
that is actually what's happening with an apprenticeship. So that's fantastic. Um, my last question for you is, what advice would you give to someone thinking about applying to Crawley College? So classic, but I would say just go for it. If you want to go for engineering and you don't think any other girls are going to be doing it or you're a bit worried, just go for it. Because the staff, the, even the pupils, are so lovely there. It's just so easy to get on with them. After a week, you're all mates. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Oh, thank you so much for joining us today, Michaela. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Georgia. Thank you for joining us on this session today. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Good. Would you mind just introducing yourself to everyone? Hi, I'm Georgia and I'm on um, cooking and prepping NVQ level one. Amazing. So the first question that I have here for you today is why did you choose to come to Crawley College? Uh, I was looking at this in like one other college, but um, this one was sort of closer and needed to get to with the travel arrangements I have. And I knew a few of my old classmates were coming here and it mm -hmm. had that I wanted to look at. Yeah, no, I think I think that's quite a good point that location is quite handy for people to get to. And it's, it is also quite nice that, you know, you did know some other people that came here. So sometimes that is a decision for people, isn't it? You know, if your friends are coming to the same college, it's a bit more of a, a comfort, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing. Um, so how did you find applying to the college? Like, was it easy and, and how did you do this? Uh, it was fairly easy because uh, my old, sort of, they call it a college, but it was more of a sixth for me sort of place. Um, helped me apply with the prospectus and things but um I also came to the open days in the summer yeah met some of the tutors and who might be on my course and we did a ton of like icebreakers so when we when we did come in September it wasn't as nerve-wracking as it could have been mm. yeah and when you came to the open evening how 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 was it like how did it make you feel like looking at the environment? Was it quite nice to kind of look around the college and meet meet the tutors beforehand? Did that help? Because I came to the open day rather than the evening because that was in the summer, so it was a whole day of activities and stuff. It was because you got to know the tutors in a, in a much rela more relaxed sort of environment rather than it just being your first week into college and you're just like, oh, where do I go? Mm -hmm. So sort of know the location of where you would be based and who to talk to if you if you need to talk to someone in that first week so all your sort of foundation if you want to call it is there when you arrive yeah yeah no that's really good to know that's great and would you advise that people do come along to open events yeah it, it was one of the like this um decision makers for me was the fact that i got to meet the majority of the staff in that uh open event that i might have in my course yeah, no, that's great. Thank you very much. Um, the next question we have is, um, I can see you have your uniform on, which looks yep. absolutely amazing. Um, did you have to prepare anything beforehand when starting your course? Uh, yeah, I did, because there's a little bit of theory work. It's not a ton of theory. There's a little bit of theory. I had to have like your stationery and a folder and no A4 notebook and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then the uniform, it, I got... Um, you get an email two week, a week to two weeks before with links to the courses and then you just need to click on to your which course you're doing rather for, for all time or part time. And then there's a uh, thing to get your uh, uniform and like, any extra bits that you might need of equipment. Yeah, that's that's quite handy for students to know that, you know, you, you will get told or you get sent an email or something in the post just to say these are the you know yeah. the certain uniform or the equipment that you will need for your course and it's important to remember that depending on what course you're going to be on you know you're going to need to prepare some different things aren't you yeah and like i didn't personally have this issue but i know some people in my course did um they had sort of money issues so they didn't get their uniform straight away so they were told in their first week by um our tutor to go down to student services and they got um it's not a bursary but as a form to help them give the discounted uniforms yeah, yeah, I think that's a really good point to make as well, because, you know, we don't want students to stress about the cost of preparing uniform or equipment for your course. So it's nice to know that within the college, we do have financial support for you. So that's a really good point. Basically, don't panic. We can help you. 
So that's great. Thank you, Georgia. Um, the next question we have is regarding ACEs and um, people watching this are probably a little bit like, OK, but what is ACEs? So that stands for your attitude, choices, employability and skills. Now, these sessions are run by your student tutor. So, of course, when you start college, you're appointed a student tutor. They're almost like your go to person. Um, and I just wanted to know, what do you guys talk about? Like, what do you get up to? What are your activities and subjects on in these ACEs sessions? Uh, so we cover sort of all different topics. So we've done traffic now. We've done like community, yeah. done about interview skills and qualities, what you need for, for certain jobs. But they, then we also do um, things that you would have done out that you wouldn't do in school or anything. So we did loans but not just like student loans. It was all different kinds of loans. And also like managing money, so having two separate bank accounts to help you save and spend money. And basically just general life skills that you'd need for life and employment. Yeah, yeah, I think that's really great as well. So these sessions are part of your timetable and it's things that maybe you don't talk about in your vocational course, but they're sessions that are set up to to help you, like you said, for your life skills. So that's really great. Thank you so much, Georgia. The last question that I have for you is, what advice would you give to someone who's applying to Crawley College? Uh, just sort of go for it. Apply. Go to the open days to get to know your like course area, and get to know your sort of way around the college, and just try and mingle with people with that would possibly be on your course next year and stuff yeah yeah no i think that's that's great advice you know it's it's nice to have that comfort of you know knowing someone even if you don't know them from you know your previous setting you know it's really easy to make friends here at Crawley college so that's great that's great well thank you so much for joining us today georgia it's been lovely having you you're welcome thank you bye bye Hi Ryan, thank you for joining us today. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm good, thank you. Would you mind just introducing yourself, please? Yeah, so I'm Ryan and I study Performing Arts Level 2 Diploma at Crawley College. Amazing. So um, would you mind just letting everyone know a little bit about your course, what you get up to, the practical and theory side? Oh uh, yeah, certainly. So our course is more like 70% practical, and 30 percent theory so we spend a lot of our time in like the big studio or in mm -hmm. here like rehearsing maybe like line learning and you know stuff along those lines for yeah. the pieces we have to produce for each project um and then we spend we always get one session but you can get more if you need it in mm -hmm. like a place like hush two and that's where you do your research and you know the theory the more traditional lessons as you would call it yeah because performing arts is more like you learn as you do it instead mm -hmm. of oh sit and write about it yeah it is quite different to like my gcse drama experience mm. because all the theory work i did here tied into the project i'm doing versus right. the gcse where it just felt like it was separate to be honest mm-hmm mm-hmm that's that's really good to know actually so it's it's nice to kind of let people know the the practical aspect of it but also that yes even though it's a vocational course you still do have to do theory but it yeah. all kind of links in together my next question following on from that one is did you have any prior experience or knowledge in your course and what would you what kind of advice would you give to someone if they don't have any experience at all that's a good question yes i did have quite a bit of experience when I was at secondary school I took drama for GCSE I then when I came to this college my first year I wasn't doing performing arts I was on media and I did drama club so I had loads of experience performing like three four years good experience yeah but I noticed something once I started not everyone was like me not everyone had the same experience so mm -hmm. when Oh, no, no, Charlotte would explain something like, I don't know, let's say musicals. She would go, this is a musical. I might already know, oh, yeah, that's what a musical is. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is what a musical contains. But someone else in the class won't know it. So she mm -hmm. won't go, oh, you should know this. She'll explain it to everyone. 
Yeah. So essentially, it's a clean slate when you come on and do a course. You'll get the things re-explained. Mm -hmm. Because you're just focusing on that one thing, you get more detailed explanations as well. Yeah. So my advice to someone that hasn't got experience or has experience, it's the same, is go for it. Just give it your all. Yeah, I think that's really great advice. That That is perfect. You know, it's nice to know that, you know, some students might have done the same as you and, and did their drama GCSEs, for example. But some people that maybe didn't do it and then think, right, OK, I really want to get onto the performing arts course. Don't panic because you'll just learn it as you go along the yeah. way. And it's not just performing arts. It could apply to motor vehicle, art and design, not yeah. any course here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A really good point. Thank you, Ryan. Um, my next question is that some students um, are obviously trying their really their hardest to get their maths and English. And as we know, we really want everyone to have their maths and English. But what kind of experience do you have, um, for example, if you don't achieve your maths or English or both? Like what what is it become part of your timetable? How does that work? Right. So it does become part of your timetable. So you receive a timetable with dedicated English and math slots. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have to do both. I only had to do uh, maths because I got a nine in English literature. Amazing. Um, so when I did maths, I went up there and they put you into the room that best suits your target grade. Yeah. So if you're predicted a four, you'll get be put to sit the traditional GCSE again. And it's two hours every week where you mm -hmm. just do maths and you get help from anything from fractions so yeah. like the circumference of a circle so anything and here's the thing it's not just that time if you want more help with it you can always ask so the teachers won't Amazing. leave you in the dust mm -hmm. and That's because great. of their help i now passed maths so now i don't have to do That's either it. anymore oh congratulations that's really good to know that's that's fantastic you know because Every different course here at the college will have a maths and English requirement. Um, but, you know, th I think the point is, is that please don't panic because we can provide you extra support if needs be. Um, and you're a perfect example of, of someone that, you know, has now achieved their maths. So that's fantastic. Particularly because it's COVID. The college knows that COVID will affect grades a little bit. Try yes. your best, but they will help you every step of the way. Exactly. That's great. Thank you, Ryan. Um, my next question for you is, um, I've asked this to some of the other students, but obviously everyone's experience and opinions are a little bit different. So I just wanted to ask you, like, what are the teachers actually like at the college? Well, they're different from secondary school because they aren't technically teachers. They are lecturers. Mm -hmm. And instead of calling them by their last name, like, um, if it was our performing arts teacher, you'd call them Ewart, Miss Ewart. You call you call them by their first name, so it's Charlotte. Mm -hmm. And the classes are also smaller, genuinely. So that means that the teachers can have a more special dynamic with like each student. Yeah. So instead of you having to be like really serious all the time, you can come in and have like a bit of a laugh and joke while you do the work. They yeah. also won't be one where they go, right, you've got to get out at the end of lesson time because I've got another one. Because you often focus on one group, if you need help, you can stay at the end and talk to them. Mm. So they they are more supportive, I think, because they have the time and ability to be supportive. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a really good point. Actually, there's quite a few points you made in there that... I think students yeah. watching this will take away and think, right, okay, that's the type of environment and the type of people that I want to be around to support me on my course. So just, that's great. Just before you move on to the next question, I thought mm -hmm. I'd make it a separate point. Because obviously yeah. we went through lockdown and mm -hmm. everyone's gone through lockdown. And this year has shown the resilience of our teaching staff here. Because like we are a practical course, as I said earlier yeah. in the interview. So it's quite hard to convert that into an online setting and yeah. yet we did we did like a chair duet physical theater we did a filmed piece like our teacher never gave up on us yeah. we even started doing like warm-ups to get everyone in the mood and <laughs> like the our teacher just became more resilient of you haven't lost your diploma 
we yeah. will keep going we will yeah. fight for everything that's amazing that's got... that's so nice to know yeah that's a really good point i'm glad yeah. you got that in there actually thank you um nice. and my last question before you say is what advice would you give to someone who's thinking about applying to Crawley College? Well, this will sound a bit cheesy, but the advice is simple. Just go for it. It's like a completely mm. different environment. It's a new start. Yeah. If I'm being honest with you, I didn't like secondary school, mm -hmm. but I do like college. Okay. I do enjoy coming in and seeing my friends and you don't have to be in uniform. And mm -hmm. it's a more fun and engaging experience yeah and you get treated more like an adult at college than you would at a secondary during lunch breaks you don't have to stay here you can go out into town mm -hmm. you're right next to like subway and mcdonald's yeah. and you can go out and shop out there yeah yeah like, that's, that's you, sick you will have experiences here that i think will set you up for life mm. secondary school goes right this is what you need to do to get a gcse college goes right, you know what you want now, or you might mm. not, but you roughly know what you want. Let's hone your skills and let's have fun. Let's give you memories for a lifetime. Oh, Just yeah. go for it, honestly. That is amazing advice, Ryan. Thank you so much for joining us today. No worries. So that's all we have time for today. I want to say a massive thank you to all of our Crawley College students for answering all of my questions today. We really hope that you found this session useful and applications are still open. So please go on to our website at www.crawleycollege.ac.uk to have a little look through some of our courses and apply online. Thank you everyone and take care.